<laughs> you know, really, really, I can really see good in you. I'm serious. I'm not joking. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you some kind of a suitcase or something? No, well, you can call me whatever you want to call me. But all things are the same. Mm. Yeah. I'm so much into you. You can never imagine my, my soul's affection to you. Affection? Yeah. Affection towards you? Oh, I thought you were in love with me. I didn't know that you had affection for me. You tell me the difference, man. I'm scholar. <laughs> <laughs> you can never imagine that. As I look in your face right now, I see that you kiss me so badly. Well, Mister, you are so wrong. What I want to do right now is thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey, you too. I just yam. Hi, Lila. <laughs> Forget. <laughs> okay, so um. Yeah, I knew that. So. Okay. I'm gonna ask you for your face. Next year. <laughs> 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 That's not a heck of a decision. Okay, well, you know what? You better get going before my mom comes out. I'm ready. Bye. Both of us cannot be in this. Why do you want me in it? Life is a mystery. Yeah. That is why we have to leave it well. Because no one can come out of it alive. Excuse me. I need you. Please. I really need you. Gosh. I'm sorry, but I've already fallen for someone else. I can't be with you. Please, I need you. You had me! You lost your mind or something? Please, I'm begging you, Giselle, please! Yes, um, we changed our plans. It looks like the meeting didn't come on. Oh, I see. Oh, and where is that? He's taking a nap. Oh, this man likes sleeping. But what else do you expect him to do? After running through all the week? Running? All the man does in the office is to sit down, let the poor people work for the money, whilst the money works for him more. All the same. He needs money to take care of poor people because most of them behave like robots and they need to be bought. Anyway, Mom, thanks to you, we don't have to work in our whole life on it. You know, all that your father has belongs to you and your brother. Teach your children to love people, and that is very important in life. Most people believe true happiness is all about money. No. I believe it's about sharing, caring, loving each other. Hi. Is everything okay? No. I, I, yes, yes. No, no, okay. Let me see what's wrong with my son. Is she okay? What is it? I'll lie. I need some money. 
Go to the bank. No, I, I can't go to the bank. It's, it's urgent. The bank is not yet closed. The truth is, I my account is empty. I, I'm, I'm broke. Totally broke. I don't have. I knew it. I knew it. I thought you said you stopped gambling. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did, but I. But what? Listen, I don't have any money to give you. Okay. 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 Um, now here is the truth. I I used my car as a garage man. Yeah, and right now I am totally broke. I don't have anything. All right, but I promise you, if if you just borrow me this money, I I'll pay you back. My next week, next week. And from which income are you going to pay me? Listen, mom and dad must hear about this. Oh, oh come on, man, you're a big man. What 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 has, has mom and dad got to do with it? They've got everything to do with it. It's their money you're blowing to thin air. God damn it! Your brother is broke. It's empty. Can't you, can't, can't you help your brother? Okay, okay. You know what? You know what? I promise you. This is going to be the very last time. This will not happen again. I promise you. This will never happen again. Yeah. I promise you. How much? It's not that much. This is about 2,000 Ghana cities. 2,000 what? You are still a fool. You know that. You are still a fool. Oh. Ah. As long as you don't give me the money, ah, no problem. I don't think I know. Give me the money. <laughs> Alvin, what are you doing alone in my house and where is Ken? I wanted a quiet time with you. That is why I came alone. Can we please go inside? I'm sorry I can't go inside. I'm not feeling comfortable with you even in this house. I won't do that. I'm Alvin. I'm sure you will embrace the proposal I have for you. Can we please go inside? You can't. I'm not going inside. I asked you to do the dishes in the kitchen sink. Yeah, you did, but I asked you not to do them. Oh, so you have gone rings that when I asked to do something, you disobey me? Mm, this is no disobedience. I had a visitor, so I asked Leila to do them. Well, she didn't do it. So get in there and wash the dishes. Why do you keep doing this, Mom? Leila should be the one doing the dishes in the kitchen. After all, she's a younger one. My friend, will you get out of my sight? Mm, this is not fair. Seriously, this is not fair. You don't tell me what is fair or unfair in this house. Do you hear me? Hey, hey, hey. What is going on here? 
Dad, please talk to mom. I don't like the way she keeps treating me in this house. It is obvious that I'm not her favorite child, yes, and I'm okay with it. But Layla is the one that's supposed to be washing the dishes in the kitchen, not me. I'm, f I'm a full grown woman and I know my responsibilities in this house. will be doing it. No, mom, I will not do it. If Layla is at home, then she should be the one doing it. It's her job, not my responsibility. Hey, don't call her that. Please. Oh, so you are defending her? Mm -hmm. You know she's not silly. I know you will never find fault with this girl. And then, what Audrey is saying is right. Anytime the junior sister is around, let her do the kitchen stuff. Huh? She's a big girl. It's alright. That's alright. We shall see. In this house, we shall see. Oh, mom, dad, are you set? Yes. But I'm not looking for the mom. She keeps making her face. She's trying to keep the young girls away from you. From me? What's going on? I think he went to the place. Good morning, dad. Good morning. You slept over? Yes, sir. When I came in after my baby, I saw you and so I decided to say good morning. Hi, everyone. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, woman. You look so beautiful. What's your name? Thank you. Would you shut up? <laughs> Sally, how are you? Mom, I'm fine. Thank you. Great. Uh, could you tell your mom that I'll be going to the party with her and that she should get ready when I call up on her? Okay, sure. I'll certainly do that. Woman, are you ready? Yes, honey. Okay, let's go. See you in the evening. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. So, what are we having for breakfast? I'm eating you. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop it. Come on, let's go to the table. Okay, fine. God, I'm so good. Are you sure? Really? Well, there's nothing that is like actually back in a second. Hey, Robin Ambassador, you're back. Of course I'm back. Who's this beautiful? Hey, just hold it right there. Let me make an introduction, okay? Well, sweetheart. This is my brother, my only lovely brother. His name is Alvin. Okay, Alvin from the Chickmarks. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Audrey. Alvin. Your brother's cute. Thank you. Cute? That's cute. This is the this monkey. Get out of here. Hey. Hello, Mom. Hello, oh, Mom. Hi, everyone. And who is this lovely lady? That is Ken's girlfriend. Oh. Are you? Yes. She's so pretty. Okay, you know what? Um, can I have just woman to woman chat with her? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, mom, no, sure. You want to come this way? <laughs> so how is everything? She's <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Your brother is really interested. Really? Uh huh. He's a cool dude. Yeah, he is a cool dude. <laughs> Come, let me show you something. What?
No, I'm not that much of a good girl. I sometimes do. Really? really? Mm -hmm. no, I would love to see that side of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you seem to like so much fun. Is your brother like that as well? No, all of these parties should be very compatible as friends. Compatible like you and I? Well, you know, blood is bigger than blood. Yeah. So, as far as we've not done a thing together, I go for all this <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of the thing, I don't think we're ever going to get to the Why? Because, Ken, I really don't trust you. I mean, I've heard lots of rumors about you. <laughs> Seriously. Hold on. Oh. Hey, Mom. What? Okay, I'm right there. Dad, you should shut my eyes. Oh, get going. 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 Get Wow, you've never greeted before. Ken, are you okay? Yes, sir. I'm fine. I saw you running out earlier with your girlfriend. I hope all is well. Please don't introduce another girl to me because I'm tired of receiving girlfriends. Listen, just let him, okay? You mean I should let him be like you were 26 years ago? Excuse me. I wasn't a womanizer, please. Do you want us to talk about Mary? Oh, that was 26 years ago. Come on. That was 26 years ago. Let's talk about something better, darling. My girlfriend lost her father today. What? 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 Yeah. He was shot by an animal. Is your girlfriend okay? No. Oh my god. Just relax a little bit fine, okay? I know where it's at. I'll be my I'm sorry. Alvin, come on. Keep this company. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I'm going to tell him, can I get some money to buy you stuff? Okay. Mommy, okay. seriously. My friend, get out of my sight. Can't you see I'm busy? Mommy, you just gave me one million dollars now, and I don't need anything. If you don't know what to do with it, show it away. Six. Mom, why do you keep doing this? What have I done to you? Because you treat me in this house like a piece of trash. If you ever question me in this house again, I will throw you out. Do you understand? Do I make myself clear? Yeah, that is not possible because you cannot throw me out of this house, no matter how much you hate me. Oh, really? You think so? Look here. The only reason why you are still under this roof is because the devil in me is still asleep. Wait until it wakes up and you will not know what hits you. Nonsense. My friend, get out of my sight. What is your problem? Ow, I'm not in the mood for your bullshit. Get out. Okay. You heard me, I'm not in the mood for it. Just get out. Okay. You're the only one who knows all my secrets. I want you to be with me. I want you to be mine, Giza. Ow, 
I'm one person who does the reading of my heart. If you want me in order to protect your secrets, you can never ever have me. Because no price can ever buy my true feelings. Come on, Giselle. You just sold Jesus for a few calories. I'm not asking you to sell your heart for me. Look, Giselle, I truly and completely love you. Please. Not with what I know of you. In this world of lies, I have decided to be the truth. And in no time, I'm going to spill the beans. So I'm sorry I can't be with you. I can't help you. What? You heard me! Get out! Please. What are you still waiting for? Get out! Please. Get out of this place! Get out! What do you still want here? Are you crazy? Are you mad or something? Have you lost your head? Get out! Idiot! Just get out of my house! Leave! Gosh! No way! about you mom there's something happening i i just want to get at my facts before coming over really well i'll be expecting to see you because you know i'm planning to travel soon mm? no problem came to shop yes mom kashia can you put everything on my bill please do that thank you mom. yeah you're welcome thank take you. good care of yourself thank and you. i'll see you soon eh? okay bye <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> Good shots, but I can do better. <laughs> no fool. Let me take my second shot. Hello, Ken! Okay. Ah. Hello, girl. What are you doing around here? Well, I saw your car parked out there, so I decided to come check. Why haven't I been picking up my clothes? I told you I've been busy. Bring the stop playing the game. I think I better go there again. You know what? Don't you ever in your life yell at me, you hear me? Oh! So you have so, so forgotten about me now, eh? I don't know why it's so difficult for you to understand things. I've told you before, I'm in a serious relationship. I don't want to be bothered with you. Just leave this place right now. So what were we doing? Because I thought we have something going on between us. What we had is over. It's done. We just leave this place. Get out of the All right? What was the problem? Back, eh? yeah, you're right this time. I'm going to stick to one. That's what. Right. The usual preaching. What's new? The only must be a But I don't believe you. I don't believe you? We just wouldn't see. Okay, let's play our game then. How do you? 
Hey, Audrey! Audrey! Excuse me, do I know you? It's me, Sully! Sorry, I don't know you. Audrey! Can you take your filthy hands off me? Audrey, are you okay? Do I look insane to you? I'm sorry, I don't know you. Oh! Jeez! What kind of silly thing is this? I can't believe this! What do you think you are doing? You can stop for all I care. Have you ever bought food in this house before? But you know, my student. Listen, you don't touch any food in this house unless you buy it with your own money. Do you understand? What is the meaning of all of this? Ever since my father died, you turned cold towards me. What have I done to deserve all of this? Good afternoon, my dear. Yeah, how are you, Audrey? Okay. Have a seat. No, um, did you come to see Ken? Yes, ma'am. Yes, he's in his room. Okay. 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 Oh, she's so adorable. I can't believe this. You want them to be alone in their room? Honey, there are no more kids. There are no more kids. What if Kenny pregnant? And what's wrong with that? Darling, you are growing too old. <laughs> you are growing too old. <laughs> me old. <laughs> you know what? Just give me the divorce papers and you'll see what will happen in a minute. You know what? I was just kidding. You <laughs> better. <laughs> Sweetheart, what's the problem? It's my mother. Remember I told you about how she prefers leaving to me? Well, ever since my father died, she's just become worse. She practically treats me like a slave. Everything has changed now. It's like I'm not even her daughter. Come on, sweetheart, don't say that, okay? You are. Some mothers are like that. They prefer some of their children to the other. It happens. But mine is getting out of hand. It's okay. It's all right. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I left the house with an empty stomach. Can you believe she never asked me to buy my own food? What? Are you serious? Sweetheart, don't you think you, you have offended her in some way that you don't know? No. No. Okay, you know what? Let's do it this way. I'll go and talk to her. No, 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 no. If you do that, it would just worsen everything. I'll tell you what. I'll just try and cope, okay? But in the meantime, you have food at home. I'm just starving. Yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, sure. Just, come on, just relax yourself, okay? Let me go and get you something to eat. Just relax yourself. I'll be right back. Hi, Giselle. 
right now. Look, I'm somewhere in town, but I'll be with you right away. Okay? Okay. Okay, ma. Okay. Giselle, go ahead and tell me whatever it is. Um, Mom, I wanted to tell you when you come back from your journey. Come on, I'm not coming back from this journey soon. And it's important you tell me now. Um, but it's just that I, I don't want to spoil your mood. Feel free and tell me, please. What is it? Okay, okay, Mom. I want to use the mushroom. I'll be back. Hello, Mom. Hi, Alvin. Oh, I don't understand it. Even though I tried again and again You won't be seeing me tomorrow <laughs> And why if I may ask? Nothing serious, I just want you to miss me for a while <laughs> Me? Let's see who misses who You will surely miss me Moi Yes, I forgot to ask you something It's Kate girlfriend, alright? Oh yes she lost her dad about a month ago. I think she's okay now. Anyway, both of them are happy. But I must confess, he has been with her for over two months now. And that is amazing. I met her in town today and she personally acted like she doesn't know me from Adam. Are you sure of what you're saying? Very sure. In fact, I was so, so embarrassed. Jesus. Ah. No. I don't believe you. Audrey is such a sweet person. I don't think she could have. Are you calling me names? Are you trying to tell me that I'm lying? I am not. I just don't believe what you're saying. Listen. I don't think she would do such a thing. Are you sure you saw her? Oh, shit on me. <laughs> That's funny. Listen, I will not allow you to talk to any other man except a priest. A priest? Yes. A priest. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Wait, are you trying to tell me that you don't have feelings? At least. <laughs> You're crazy. So, um, why don't you show me something that was that? I mean, angel. An angel? What would an angel be doing in a club? Yeah, she's here with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like to always see these actors. So that's yeah. it. Why don't we do for dance? Maybe I'm heading off to the Okay, 
Okay, you know what? Uh, this this was a video, right? I'm doing it right now. Let me just do it right now. What? But you're fondling me. Come on. Are we not lovers? Yes, we are, but it doesn't mean you can do whatever you want with me. Come on, baby, isn't that? Hey! Are you assaulting me? Hey, 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 wait, wait. Doesn't mean I'm going to police the body. Can you turn on the light? Well, I'll just sleep on the floor. Hi, um, I'm sorry I bust into your room without knocking. I didn't know your girlfriend slept over. Oh, mom, it's alright. It's alright. Well, she slept over, but she actually slept on the bed while I slept on the floor. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Good Morning, uh... Hi, honey. <sighs> so, um, when did both of you return last night? Well, uh, quite late. Yeah. Because Audrey couldn't get into a house, so I had to bring her over here to spend the night. Really? Yeah. But why did her mother lock the house? Um, it's a long story, Mom. You know, her mom has been having problems with her since her father died. Is she a real mother? Yeah, yeah, she is, but I don't know why. Anyway, it's nice of you to show such care towards her. Yeah, that's because she's a girl I want to marry. Mm hmm. <laughs> if you want to get married to her, why did you sleep on the floor and she slept on the bed? Well, we had a deal last night. Ken, uh, where is your brother? It might be in his room. Okay, uh, the three of us need to talk. Maybe later in the day, okay? Okay, Dad. Three of you, eh? Anyway, whilst you're doing the talking, I will be in the kitchen preparing breakfast. Okay? Okay! Dad, I think you need to hire the you know, house help to help mom with all these kitchen jobs and other things. I can force it on her if she doesn't want it. Okay? Besides, your mom is hardworking. Yeah, we all know she has, she's hardworking, but she, she can't go. I know what I I'll be around. Hey, gentlemen. Be careful with love, okay? Look at that. She's a nice person. <laughs> Doing. Oh, 
her. Which other girl do we live with in this house? Are you talking about my sister? My friend, don't upset me this one. Do you hear me? Well, maybe she's getting too much. What has Audrey done to you again this time? Look, will you shut up and get inside or you prefer to join her? What is going on here? Why are my things out in the open? Where are you coming from? Well, I spent the night in my boyfriend's house because you locked the gate last night. Ah, if you have grown enough wings to be sleeping in men's house, these are your belongings. Get them and go and stay with whoever that idiot is. Where else did you expect me to sleep last night after you locked the gate? Out in the streets? Do I look like I care? Look here, young woman. I cannot cope with you in this house any longer. From now onwards, you are not welcome here. Hmm? You cannot be serious. Do you think you can eject me from my own father's house? My father might be late, but that doesn't mean I belong in the streets, mom. Oh yes, that's where you belong. And I have made it clear to you. Look here, your father is no more, so deal with it. Can't be telling me this, mom. Look, go out there and look for somebody to call your mother. You're not entering that house. Now I believe what the psychiatrist said. You're mentally depressed. It is you who is mad. You are the one that is mad. You grew up calling me mother, which I hated so much. Look here, Audrey. I am not your biological mother. Do you understand me? What are you saying? Oh, you heard me right. So is this why you hated me the whole time? Look, the only reason why I kept you under my roof is because of your father. And I bet he didn't tell you who your real mother was. I have had enough of you, Audrey. You are in the university now. My work here is done. I have a daughter to take care of. Mom, you're not being fair to her. Shut up! You idiot. Jesus. Look, please leave. Look, I warned your mother when she was dragging my late husband with me in Lagos. But she refused. And that landed her in her grave. If you know what is good for you, leave now. And one more thing. As for this house, forget about it. Because your father did not add a penny in constructing it. I sold my expensive boutique in Lagos just to put up his building. So you see, you better leave now before I unleash the devil in me. I said leave. Yes. Yeah. You want to follow her? Follow her. Go ahead and follow her. Leave. Hurry up. Don't you ever step foot in this house again. She has been misunderstood she has been misunderstood She has been wrongly accused She has been mistreated She has been maltreated And now she's crying and wondering why and asking why me so now she's wondering she's crying <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up? Listen, gentlemen, you are growing, okay? You need to know how to talk. If an elderly person wants to talk to you, you don't go like. So, what's up? <laughs> Sorry, Dan. So, why did you call us? Please, sir. <laughs> What's this one? 
No, nothing. <laughs> nothing, I'm cool. <laughs> well, you see, I called you two here. What are you people doing with your lives? Now that you are done with your national service. Ken. Okay. Why me? I mean, you are much more closer to him, so you answer him. I'm asking you because it's clear what I'm doing next. Law school. What I, I continue my master's and when I'm done, then I will think about working for you or with you, I guess. You guess? Yeah, I guess. So, which school are you people planning to attend? Oh, Dad, I prefer the Ghana School of Law. Well, as for me, straight to Mokula. <laughs> Ken, you have to be serious, okay? We are talking about your future here. Yes, be serious. <laughs> well, uh, um, I'm sorry, Dad. I, I actually applied to some schools overseas, all right? And immediately I gained a mission, I will let you know about it. Good, good. Uh, well, your mom and I will be traveling over the weekend to London. And uh, I want you to take good care of Kane. Oh, uh, did you okay. hear me? Yes, Dad. That, that, excuse me, did you say this weekend? Yes, this weekend. And this weekend I should be in, in Cape Coast. Oh. Okay, don't worry, your brother will take us to the airport, okay? Did you hear that? I heard it, I'm not a kid. But you practically uh, grew up, okay? Dad. Alright, see you guys later. Mm -hmm. Yes, Dad. <clears throat> <laughs> little brother. <laughs> Come on, shut up. Who's your little brother? <laughs> Hello? What? Okay, oh, oh, okay, okay. Just, just calm down. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. All right. Okay, I'll be right there. All right? What is it? It's Audrey. She said something like being thrown out of her house. What? I'll be right back, okay? This is strange. Can you laugh? But is it probably because he hasn't hit the hole yet? She has been misunderstood. She has been misunderstood She has been wrongly accused She has been mistreated She has been maltreated And now she's crying and wondering why And asking why me? She has been misunderstood. Babe. She has been she drove me out of the house. She said I'm not a child. She, she said I'm not a child. Strongly accused. It's all right. It's all right. I'm here for you. All right. Where your things? She has been maltreated, and now she's crying and wondering why, and asking me. She has been misunderstood. She has been misunderstood. She has been wrongly accused. She has been mistreated. What right? She has been. It's what you believe in that happens to you. Alright? So that if you can stop thinking that everything will be fine, definitely. Things will definitely be fine. She, how could she do this to me? How could she, how could she have kept this from me the whole time? All this while she never liked me. She never liked anything I did from my childhood. 
I should have known. Ken, I really should have known. But you see, Lena said that she said that someday I'll discover something about myself. Something that I I never ever imagined. Ken, I'm so confused. I don't want to live my life in fear. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. See, sometimes knowing something is not good at all. But the most important thing is that you have someone. Someone who will always be there for you. Audrey, you have me. I'll always be there for you. I will never be here for another. Alright? Come on, let me just be your pillow of trust and hope. Come on, let's go inside. Coffee! That's up! Yeah. So, what are you going to do? That is what I don't know. You are my brother, you tell me. You see, how am I going to solve this way? Is she my girlfriend? You know very well that's not what I mean. I mean, she has to go back to school in six weeks. For now, she, she doesn't have nowhere to stay. Why don't you rent a hotel for her? No, no, no. Well, that's not a nice idea. It's a nice one. Oh, I see. So, what do you plan to do now, since you've decided to play in your camp? Well, um... I think she'll stay here with me. Are you out of your senses? What? How do you mean? Look, Ken. Such things brings about complications in relationship. No, no, no. I disagree with you on that. You understand? For me, I believe that we'd burn us together more. So what are you going to tell mom and dad? I, I thought in the truth. The <laughs> truth. No, no, nothing but the truth. There is nothing there to hide anymore. The truth. Yeah. And you think they'll agree to it? And that's the hardest part. They were you coming. You have to talk to them for me. I'm not going to involve myself in this one. Well, come Sorry. on, Al. What are you talking about, man? You told me you liked this uh, Audrey. You know I do. Al. Al, I need you. Oh. I feel like I'm heading towards the grave. And why are you saying that? That's a fact. Oh, please. You can't cheat life and stay alive. But you don't need to be preaching this to us. Okay. Let's see what the day brings it. Nobody knows. Mom, do you know Ken went to South Africa to gamble? Ken, do you still gamble? No. Dad, I... I, I just... I just did it once. You need deliverance. Mom, please. I've stopped. Mom. Dad. Um, there is something I would like us to discuss. What is it? Uh, am I your spokesperson? You better tell them your problem yourself. Kane, you are a man. Tell us. Um, well, um, what is it? Mom is, is about, is about Audrey, your girlfriend. Is she gone? I learned she slept here last night. Yeah, yeah, she's gone, but she's, she, she's back again. Why? A mother threw her out of the house. What? For, for, for what? Wow. Something I can explain now. Ken, you better start explaining it now. Because I'm not going to leave in this house with any troublesome person.
Why are you not eating? I'm just here reflecting on my life, Mom. It's really difficult for me to understand what I'm going through. Audrey, I've told you not to worry about anything. Hmm? My husband and I will be traveling and we've arranged for your school fees and other stuff. I can't see to it. You know, if some of us will tell you what we've gone through in life, you marvel. You see that yours is nothing. Thank you, Mom. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. Just have to thank God for everything. He makes everything possible. One thing I want of you is to be faithful to my son. That's not a problem, Mom. Ken and I love each other very much. I'm glad to hear this. I'll be inside. Please, eat something. Okay, Mom. Okay. Thank you again. So when are you people coming back? Ah, when we feel like Alvin. Mr. Crimson is going to take charge of my business very well. Really? Yes. He's the only person I can trust. You people didn't see anything when you were growing up. <laughs> he was with me through thick and thin. Uh, he's my best of everything in business. Uh, what have you? Alvin, I don't even know why you got us KLM instead of Ghana International Airlines. I wish we could patronize more made in Ghana products. Uh, 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 uh. That would be when they stick to their time. <laughs> Let's hope so. Yes, Alvin. Yeah. Tell Ken whenever he comes that you should give me a call tonight. Okay. This very night. Oh. I will see you guys. Right. I'm gonna miss you, my I'll son. I'll miss you too, mom. I'll miss you all mm. the time. Honey, mm. time. Let's go. Oh. I'll call you, eh? Take care. See you. See you. Bye. Downstairs. I left you there so you can be by yourself. I came here to have peace of mind and study. Why, why do you keep following me? Listen, you do yourself a great favor. Go now and find Sally so she can be able to keep your company, okay? Stop pesting me! Oh. Go to hell. Hello? Yeah? Yes, this is Quanji's residence. Tell me what is wrong. What is wrong, Kitty? Talk to me. We lost our parents in a car accident. We what?
the death of your parents is a great loss to you. And as a family lawyer, I'm assuring you everything is I will be contacting the board of directors to make sure everything is in place. I'll be taking a look. Are you okay? Is everything okay? Come on. You know the answer to that question. This place feels so empty and lonely. You know. I know. Where is Ken? He went out. Can I share something with you? Yeah, sure. Why not? It's about my brother. What about your brother? You know he's not so reliable in certain ways, right? I don't know what you mean. Before Ken met you, he had strings of relationships. He had a habit of sleeping with girls and leaving them. But with you, he has proven something. I don't know how you did it, but you managed to keep him in the check. I know you don't see it, but I do. And I know what I'm talking about. Now that our parents are no more, Audrey, I want you to keep him like your son. Come on, I'm serious. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so funny. Alvin, you've told me this over and over again. Come on, I'm really serious. Listen, I love your brother so much. And I know he loves me too, okay? I know you do. I know you really love him. Mm -hmm. Anyway, go get dressed and let's go out. So where, where are we going? Are you going on? Okay, give me five seconds to get ready, okay? And cheer up! I'm ready. And don't be thinking. Hello, pretty boy. Can I join you? You are Ken, right? Yes. I've heard a lot about you. A lot. Well, I'm Maya. Can we be friends? 
Why not? Good then. Can you buy me a drink, friend? Oh, sure, sure. Waiter! What? What? Oh, let us do it now. I have to do that. I'm sure you can do Thank you. Hey, sugar. Are you home? Nice. I was just making sure you were safe. So maybe later then. Good night, sugar. But don't worry, I'll be seeing you every 15 minutes, okay? Maybe I'll just talk to you. No, 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 it's fine. I'll tell you to be very good care of you, just like the sun. <laughs> what is it? No, sweetheart, you know you could actually stay here and leave to school every other day. Yeah, it's not like you have lectures every other day at school. But honey, I'm a pleasure to stay here, so you can see where you stay. But like I said, whenever I get a few times on the time to go, I definitely have to see you. After all, you're the one. Oh, uh, no. Forget that. You don't have to see me. I'm only being appreciative. I mean, seriously, thank you so much. Very good job. You and I. Uh, I know. How does it <laughs> Okay, so you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Ah, I'll be back. There you go. What's in the house? What's in the house? Thank you. One time. Okay. What were you thinking of? Nothing really. Just here. So tell me, how come you haven't called for the past few days? So tell me, how come you haven't called me for God knows? Come on. Since I realized I've been the one calling you, you don't return my calls, so I decided to stop, you know? I've been busy. You know what? Oh, the need to. I've been damn so busy. So tell me, when are you coming over? Um, let's say the next three weeks. In the next three weeks? Alvin, I'll be traveling to the north. Don't tell me you're still at this charity thing. You know, 
that's my job as a beauty queen going now. Poverty elevation is my mission, but you know what? Enough of this. Let's just have some wild fun. <laughs> How about that? Oh, baby. Oh. 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 Hey! Oh, so nice to meet you. How are you? So what's up? How are you doing? Ah, I just finished my assignment. Okay. Wow, you really beautiful. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, where's the end? Yeah. Mm, I think you went out. Oh. Anyway, how's your prayer going? Hmm. Hectic. Oh my goodness. So hectic that I haven't even had any time to have fun. <laughs> Why are you laughing? So shit. You don't laugh. Anyways, so. Are you missing? I hope you missed you. I know you have. Thank you very much. So just give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up? Hey. What are you doing here with your brother? <laughs> well, wait, are you suspect? I asked you a simple question. What are you doing here with the brother? Hey, 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 What are you two doing? Um, nothing. I was just showing me an application on the phone. Hey, don't tell me you're jealous. I yes, but that's supposed to be in the evening, right? Because I really need to know about this new um, application. Oh. Wait, where are you going? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow, this guy is really jealous. On a more serious note, are you real? What? No, I'm just kidding. <sighs> Don't kid like that again. Seriously. I, Max, so, uh -huh. I told you. I told you he was interested in Nikki. I told you. All he wants is for me to get rid of her. Then he walks in. That's it. He must have screwed this girl all on the brush of doing it. But I tell you the truth, I still love this girl. I love this girl all my This girl has told him how to do it. You see, your brother might have found something about this girl that I know. Oh, he doesn't know anything about this girl. He doesn't know I know everything about this girl. No, I know this girl like the palm of my hands. Don't be too sure, my guy. Now, let me tell you something about her you don't know. What? You know her? Okay, God. Evil. Cool. Where is Audrey? She left for school. But I thought she said she she will leave tomorrow. No. She'll be back tomorrow. Actually one of her mates called and it sounded urgent. At least she should have called me. Well, you left your phone at home and it was off. Besides, what is wrong if she tells me? 
because I'm a boyfriend and you're not. Yes. You're losing your head. So, baby, are you ready? You want to give it to me how I want it? What are you looking for? Oh yeah, I was just a quick while with some friends and a party, nothing. I see. Where's Kim? You know him, I understand you mean that you can tell you some of us are alone to us. Come on, I want to have So, how did the party go? Better than ever. Okay. Are you going to leave after giving me this wonderful breakfast? I'm actually planning on staying for at least a week. Wow. Mm -hmm. That would be very nice, which means we're going to have a lot of fun together, huh? <laughs> You're a light, Alvin. I like you. I like you too. Wait, I'm not in love with you. I just like you. What? <laughs> you should have seen the look of your face. You are very <laughs> naughty a... girl. You. <laughs> that was just a fast one. Look, Audrey. On your wedding day with Ken, I'm going to give you a surprise you will never ever forget in your life. Really? What is that? Give me your palm. Look in your palm. You are a very wonderful person. I was very glad when you came into Ken's life. I normally don't show it, but I really appreciate the love you give to him. And I hope you will never, ever Betray his love for you. Um, I'm I'm gonna be inside. Besides, I have some stuff to wash for Ken. Okay. What a surprise! 
I never knew you were in town. So I surprised you. You also surprised me. What were you doing holding her hands in that kind of position? What are you insinuating? What position? What am I insinuating? Forget it, I'll be in the room. King? Yeah, I'm here. What is it that you want to talk to me about? It's, it's about your girlfriend. Audrey? Yes, and Al. Well, what about them? This may come as a surprise to you, but I suspect Al and Audrey are deceiving us. I suspect Al is sleeping with Al behind our backs. What? Yes, I found them in our compromising position yesterday. And this has not been the first time I've seen those two behaving like lovebirds. I just felt like letting you know. Yeah. I've been suspecting them too. <laughs> what? I always know something is not right here. I allowed you to get into my room because I, I thought you were gonna... Look, I came in here because I love you. What the hell do you mean by that? What you know about me before has completely changed now, so I thought I could have a place in your heart. That's the reason why I came. So you lied to get into my room, right? Lie. But, um... You know... Love can make anyone do anything, including lying. So I, I wasn't lying about you. I, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Hey, 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 don't complain about time. What do you have? Everything. All the proof you need. Okay. Let me have it. Manifest before I hand you the intel. Here you go. <laughs> ah. Good, man. You can have it. See you later. Are you enjoying your phone? Yeah. The only man who I have been to his house is bring to my satisfaction. He's gay. Ah, I cherish ah, 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 of it. Ah, 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 Does that suggest you you're not comfortable here? No, I mean. Ah, 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 I wanted to eat, drink to my satisfaction before I learned everything in my mind. Okay, eat me the good news. Adinga. Yep. You're one guy I like so much. But I... I... I, I just can't have an affair with you. Why? I'm leaving. Call me tomorrow night at 8 p.m. and let's meet at Clemento Gardens. I have to leave now.
am I getting the note now? You know, I love you so much, don't you? And that was the reason why I just moved to what I was paid. And what is that? Tonight is a deadline for me to assassinate you. What? Easy. Alvin. <laughs> he wants it so, so badly. Only God knows why. If that is true, then why am I still breathing? You know, you are the most beautiful black woman I ever met. And I love you so much. That has been a whole singer's day. You never came by once to visit, except for today. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm very, very sorry, okay? I had one of those things. Okay, you're forgiven. But make sure next to next for you. Hey, Al. Oh. Are you okay? Is everything okay with you? We'll soon find out. All right, baby, I'm gonna go inside to the hot dog and then probably oh. I will have a huge lunch. Yeah, yeah. 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 Make it with, 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 with a man? Oh my god. What is it? Oh my god. Let me see what's on this. What? I was busy investigating. Come mess me up. I paid you dearly to kill me. Shoot me. Alvin, you can kill me for all I care. I've got the people already out. I speak now. The police are on their way here. Die before. Die right here. Shoot me, Alvin. Go ahead. Pull the trigger. Kill me, Alvin.
I later realized that Audrey is a twin. And messed an innocent girl up with my investigation and accusation. Giselle later married Madingo and also exposed the offer I made to her to kill my brother Ken. And also in helping me in laundering $500,000 to the US. My evil deeds caught up with me. And here I am in detention awaiting trial. I'm downcasted, in regret, and speechless. Thank you. 